How many ways can four students be arranged in a line? Every time ang problem ay may kinalaman sa ordered arrangement terms. Problem na yun ay tungkol sa permutation. Permutation. Definition, it's the ordered arrangement items. Talagang order hindi lang siya basta arrange items, baka malito kayo dun sa like sa math na kung tabagin ng permutation. Permutation, malagay yung order. So, ordered arrangement of items. Sabi ng ordered, mahalaga sa atin si na pangalawa at sino yung mga sumusunod pa. Maraming uri ng permutation problems. Ang pinakasimple, ay yung ganitong uri. How many ways can you arrange something? Say, nakapila, libro sa shelf, tao sa pila, yan, kagaya nito. Pinakasimple yan. At sinosolve natin yan, total number of permutation in a, of a set of n objects given by and permutation of n taken n at a time. Saan yung N ay yung number of objects, persons, items, na pwede mo namang i-expand as multiplying N dun sa mga preceding terms niya. So, N less 1, tayo mo sa N less 2, and so on. Papatuloy yan hanggang sa 3, 2, at 1. Hinto ka na sa 1 kasi kapag 0, anything multiplied by 0, just be zero. So, nonsense. No? 2 ka sa 1. Simula mo dun sa number na yon. Multiply pabalik all the way to 1. This example's case, ang n natin, 4. So, this is actually permutation of 4 objects taken 4 at a time. 4 multiplied by n minus 1. 4 minus 1. Basically, patras. Magmultiply ka patras. 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Just Easy at this point kasi maliit lang yung n. Pero kung mahirap na yan, dahil malaki na siya, it will be helpful na gumamit ka ng factorial notation. So basically, you can also rewrite this as 4 and then yung factorial symbol na mukha ring exclamation mark. Ibig niya 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Alright, sa so calculator natin, Tapos natin yung kalkina. Wait lang. Ayan. Sa calculator natin, kailangan lang natin gawin e eh, 4 and then yung factorial symbol, it varies. Alq sa type na to sa Casio FX570 VN plus need to press, press shift and then itong x raised to 1 para lumabas yung factorial symbol then hit the equal 24 24 kasi 4 times 3 is 12 times 2 is 24 Times 1, again, 24. Kahit anong paraan naman yung gamitin mo, makuha yung kaparehong. Isa pa sa uri ng permutation problem, eh kapag merong, let's say, pageant, kahit na anong object, na ang kukuhanin mo lang ay yung, let's say, unang tatlo. Na lang yung i-arrange mo na naka-fix yung first, second, third, naging order. Tama. So, kagaya nito. Classes to select a president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer from seven class members. Ilang arrangement natin yun posibleng magawa. Ang ginagamit natin dyan is the number of permutations, a set of n objects taken r at a time, denoted as this n factorial divided by 
quantity and less r factorial. Again, pag binasa siya, permutation of n taken r at time. Yung r being the order number na no, number ng items na mahalagang magkakasunod. Kaya nito, mahalaga na president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer. Una mong ine-elect yung president, followed by the president, secretary, and treasurer. Sa so, ilang arrangement ang posible kung pito ang class members. Basically, yung N dito ay 7. Habang yung R naman, ilangin natin, we have the president, vice president, secretary, treasurer. R natin is 4. Then, N is 7. R is 4. N ay yung kung ilan lahat ng involved, tao, objects, bagay, yan. R kung ilan yung position na mahalaga sa yung magkakasunod. We can plug in. We're trying to solve for the permutation of 7, taking 4 at a time. That's 7 factorial over 7 minus 4 quantity factorial. Simplify natin in denominator. We have 3 factorial. Then you can just go ahead and use your calculator. Or, pwede mong isimplify pa to. Notice na yung 7 factorial is just 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Which is also 3 factorial. Tama? 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. So you can just cancel that out. Anything divided by itself is 1. Cancel. Patitira na lang actually is just 7 multiplied by 6 times 5 times 4. And let's bring out our calculator. 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 is 804. Makuha mo yung kaparehas na number kahit ang ginamit mo ay itong 7 multiplied by 7 factorial divided by r factorial. Try natin. r is 3 factorial at same result. 840. Tulad natin. That's the number of arrangements possible kung merong pitong class member na panggagalingan ng president, vice president, secretary, and class treasurer. Permutation of n objects, different objects taken r at a time. Isa pa sa mga common na permutation problem, eh kung meron namang object na parehas. Kanina, object na magkakaiba, taken r at a time, this time, Parehas na object. May kamukha. Halimbawa nito, how many arrangements are there of the 10 flags if 5 of them are blue, 3 are red, 2 are white? So, 10 flag, 5 doon magkakakulay. Parehas ng kulay. 5 yung blue, 3 doon, parehas red, 2 doon, parehas white. Kapag ganyan ang uri ng problem, ginagamit natin itong notation na to. N factorial divided by N sub 1 factorial, N sub 2 factorial, all the way hanggang sa nakahuling object na may kamukha. Right? So basically, yung n sub 1 ay yung unang object na may kaparehas which is yung flag na kulay blue. Pwede namang i magkapalit ka ng pag same. No? Ito yung n sub 1 mo ayos lang kasi multiplication naman yan. Hindi mahalaga yung order. n sub 2 natin, tawagin natin 3 red flags. Then yung n sub 3 in this example's case white flags. How about N? Paano yung N lang? Kung ilan lahat ng flag, which is 10. Now we can solve. Plug in natin. N factorial is 10 factorial divided by N sub 1 natin is 5 factorial multiplied by 3 factorial multiplied by 2 factorial. Again, we can expand. 
or just go ahead and use the calculator para ma-solve ito. Pero tingnan natin kung meron muna tayo masisimplify, no? Pansinin na, pwede akong mag-alis ng isa dito kasi 5 factorial, 3 factorial, o kaya 2 factorial, lahat naman yan nandito. So, pwede akong mag-cancel ng isa. Hindi pwedeng lahat kasi isa lang dyan ang makukuha ko galing dito. So, let's say kuhanin na natin pinakamalaki. So, that's 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6. Hinto ako dyan kasi yung sumunod na dyan, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 or 5 factorial. Na, nagkataon namang may kamukha dun sa denominator. Pwede kong i-cancel yon mamaya. Ang natin. 3 factorial multiplied by 2 factorial. And anything divided by itself is 1. Cancel out. So we just have 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 divided by 3 factorial multiplied by 2 factorial. Hindi mo kailangan gawin to palagi. No? Kung gusto mo, you can just go ahead and do this. Pero kung kaya mo mag-simplify muna bago ka mag-solve, join mo. Let's bring out our... Again. Problem natin is 10 times 9. Oops. Passion. Open lang natin. Yan. 10 multiplied by 9. Divide by 7. Tapos, divide natin. Pwede kong isulat din muna to 30,240. 30,240. Divided by 3 factorial. Factorial. with our the lagging like the crash have three factorial if multiplied by two factor it's just 12 no? three times two times one times two times one is just 12 Saka natin i-divide yung 30,240 by 12. 30,000 divided by And that's 2,520. And yung bilang ng arrangement na kaya natin gawin sa sampung flag kung saan ang lima sa kanila ay asul, tatlo sa kanila ay pula, dalawa naman sa kanila ay okay. white dot. So, tapos na tayo dun sa permutation problem na simple lang. Kapila, naka-arrange lang siya uh, sa shelf. Tapos na rin tayo dun sa objects na kakaiba pero taken R at a time. Tapos na rin tayo dito sa may mga magkakamukha. Then, ginagamit din to sa arrangement ng letter sa isang salita. Ayan, yung typical na problem na magagamit mo to. And then, pumunta naman tayo dun sa circular permutation. When we say circular, basically, may involved na circle. Limbawa, what are the possible arrangements of arranging four guests around a table? Ipin natin na meron kang round table kung saan meron kang apat na guest na gusto mong paupuin. Ano mga posibleng Arrangements. No? So let's say may guest 1, 
two, four. Any apat mong get. Ano ano yung mga posibing arrangements? Siyempre, alam natin na pwede natin pagpalitin yung A and C, pagpalitin yung C, pagpalitin yung A, yan. Pero magugulat kayo sa dami ng posibleng maging arrangements. Paano natin sinusolve yun? N plus 1 factorial. Simple as that. Try natin gawin. Kasi you can solve this, you can do this by illustrating. Kaya yung ginawa ko. Gawa ka ng maraming bilog. Tingnan mo yung mga possible arrangements. And D, or gamitin mo na lang to. Kasi medyo tedious yun eh. Try natin yung n less 1 factorial. Ano yung n natin? Ilan yung guess? Apat. Yun yung n natin. 4 minus 1 and then factorial. 4 minus 1 is just 3. 3 factorial is just 3. Times 2 times 1. You don't need to use your calculator to solve for 6. Merong anim na posibleng arrangement. Yung apat na guests mo sa isang round. So, yun lang. Yung apat nating permutation problem. Natin ulit ng guess. Unang-una yung pinakasimple. No? Order than item. N, uh, permutation of N taken N at a time. Or simply, N factorial. Pwede natin nating it. Meron din tayo permutation of n objects taken r at a time. Meron kang mga items na gusto mong magkakasunod. Yung r mo. Meron din na magkakamukhang objects. n sub 1, n sub 2, n sub k factorial na minultiply all together sa denominator. And then finally, meron tayong circular permutation. The key here to recognize anong uri ng permutation problem meron ka. Para alam mo kung anong formula ang kailangan mo. That will be all in this video. Thank you so much for watching.